While 2023 was the year everyone started using ChatGPT, today we have many more affordable and often better AI chatbot options. Claude, Perplexity, Google's Gemini, Microsoft Copilot, and the list goes on. These are all great chatbots, or as they're called, large language models, LLMs. But the question is, which one is right for you and your workflow? Should you use them all, or maybe just stick to good old ChatGPT? Well, my friend, by the end of this video, we want to answer this question once and for all. But before we start, if you're new here, my name is Darius Lucas, and on this channel, we talk about creating an online business that gives you freedom, leverages AI, and is connected to your ikigai, the reason for being. But wait, I know that some of you may be asking, what is an LLM exactly? Well, yes, all these chatbots are LLMs, LLM, as I said before, stands for Large Language Model. It's an AI system that has been trained on huge amounts of data and can, through deep learning, not only understand human language, but also perform a variety of tasks. Each of the most popular LLMs today, such as GPT, Claude, and Gemini, has different features. So it's essential to make sure that your workflow matches the LLM that you are using. So let's bring Break down each LLM one by one and find out the best AI system for your business. And let's start with the most famous one, ChatGPT. We all know ChatGPT. This chatbot allows you to perform literally thousands of tasks from writing to coding, research and learning, and so much more. The free version, 3.5, is available to everyone and it supports 95 plus languages and can resume previous chats. The paid model, GPT-4, is also super customizable through the use of plugins and creating your own GPT bots. With the paid version, you also get image generation because ChatGPT-4 integrates with other OpenAI models such as DALI. And last but not least, OpenAI, which founded ChatGPT, will soon introduce Sora, their first video generation model. However, ChatGPT does have some limitations. ChatGPT 3.5 doesn't have access to real-time information after January 2022, and it can often hallucinate and come up with incorrect information. And also, its writing voice is quite formal and very AI-ish. Now, in terms of privacy, ChatGPT saves the conversations and OpenAI reserves the right to use them for further training and improving the model. So nothing you write into ChatGPT is private, unless you get the ChatGPT Tema or enterprise plans that don't use your conversations to train the model further. So who should use ChatGPT as their LLM of choice? ChatGPT is the most versatile and customizable. So whatever your need may be, there is probably a GPT bot for it. It's a great option if you're looking for an all-in-one AI tool. So before we move on to the next LLM, if you've been using ChatGPT for your business, you should definitely check out the ultimate ChatGPT Bible now purchased by 30,000 people. It's packed with 10,000 plus copy and paste prompts for any business task that you can think of. If you're curious, click on the link in the description. Number two is Claude. Claude is a large language model, LLM, developed by Anthropic that has recently upgraded to Claude 3. There are three versions of Claude 3, Haiku, Sonnet, and Opus. The last one, Opus, is the most extensive and intelligent of their models. While Sonnet powers the free experience on Claude AI, Haiku will be released soon and it will become the fastest model of the three. Now let's take a closer look at Claude's capabilities. Claude has the largest context window of 200,000 tokens, allowing it to process documents up to 150,000 words, which is quite incredible, especially compared to other LLMs that we are going to discuss. This allows it to read, understand, and respond to thousands of pages in seconds. It's multimodal, meaning it can process and analyze images and documents. It's also privacy focused. Claude does not use conversations to train models and deletes prompts within 90 days. But what are the limitations? 
So the knowledge cutoff is 2022. There is no web browsing and it can't generate, produce or edit images. So Claude is probably not the best option if you want an all-in-one tool, but it is very good for copywriting, content and brainstorming, as it's exceptionally good at replicating your voice and getting creative. Now let's move on to another LLM, which is perplexity. When searching for something online, you usually have two options, using Google or asking chatbots like ChatGPT. Ideally, you'll use Google to find the information and ChatGPT to summarize your articles in just a few lines. But what if I told you that perplexity can do both? Unlike ChatGPT or Claude, perplexity continuously crawls the web to provide the most up-to-date information. It offers clear, concise and human-like explanations to make complex topics easy to understand. But one of the standout features of Perplexity is that it provides citations and source verification. Another great thing about Perplexity is the focus mode. When initiating a search, the focus features allow you to narrow your search to specific areas of interest. For instance, you can search academic papers to find scientific information, or choose to limit your search to Reddit or YouTube for a summarized overview of popular opinions on a topic. It's very interesting how Perplexity can access different LLMs all at once. In fact, it uses an upgraded version of GPT 3.5 for language processing and generative text, while the Pro Plan offers access to GPT 4 Turbo, Claude's latest Opus models, Mistress Large models, and Perplexities experimental model and Perplexity Pro costs just $20 per month. Now let's take a closer look at its limitations. The first one is that you always have to check the information it gives as it may occasionally present outdated, inconsistent or incorrect information. Another significant disadvantage is that the free version of Perplexity lacks the multimodal capabilities of other AI assistants. You can't integrate new bots or create images and it can only understand text, code or PDFs. Perplexity is perfect for those who work a lot with the research and want to save time while browsing Google. However, the paid version can become a great all-in-one tool that leverages the power of other LLMs like Claude and GPT. Number four, Gemini. Gemini, known initially as Bard, was developed by Google's DeepMind and launched in March 2023. In 2024, Google rebranded Bard as Gemini following the launch of Gemini Advanced. Gemini is optimized for different model sizes, Ultra, Pro, and Nano. The premium version powered by the Gemini Pro 1.0 Ultra model is called Gemini Advanced, while Gemini Nano is integrated into Google's Pixel 8 Pro smartphones. Let's take a look at Gemini's advantages. It has multimodal capabilities, meaning it can process and understand text, images, audio, video, and code. It's also free to use throughout the Google Gemini website. It can access real-time data from the internet, and as I said, it's integrated with Google services, such as Gmail, Drive, and Docs for better productivity. The most exciting feature is that it can understand YouTube videos incredibly well. It can search and comprehend YouTube videos not only by analyzing transcriptions, but also analyzing the visual inputs. But what about the disadvantages? Gemini is still in the initial development stage, so it struggles with many basic Google Assistant tasks, such as setting timers, monitoring weather, and controlling smart home. It also has some constraints on image generation, and it's also relatively slow in responses at the moment. So overall, this is a very promising product that can integrate with your Google workspace. If you use many Google products, you should definitely give it a try. And it will certainly be getting better and better by the day. And at number five, we have Microsoft's Copilot. The AI tool known as Bing Chat is now rebranded as Copilot. As Gemini integrates with Google products, Copilot works perfectly with Microsoft products. It allows you to create so-called Copilots to perform multiple tasks for you inside of your Excel spreadsheets, PowerPoint presentations, and so on. Essentially, you can create something like GPT bots working in your Microsoft workspace. Copilot uses GPT-4 and can generate AI images, making it a multimodal AI tool. 
Unfortunately, Copilot also has some limitations. It requires some technical expertise to leverage Copilot Studio's capabilities to create your Copilots fully and efficiently. Also, there are some content restrictions, which means that Copilot won't answer to specific questions. Lastly, the Pro version and potential additional charges for high usage can make Copilot quite an expensive product, which is not great for small businesses. All right, now it's up to you to vote which is the best LLM slash chatbot in your opinion and which one you are going to use for your workflow. Now, in case you decide to go with ChatGPT, you should watch this video right here on advanced ChatGPT prompting. It's coming up right there. I'll see you in that video.